Hey guys, it's Renee. So for these earrings, I'm gonna be using this like template of the stars. I actually did this myself and have it on my blog. I'm gonna link it below so you can check it out and print it if you wanna try this yourself. I'm gonna be just choosing or just cutting one star as my template using my scissors. And the scissors that I'm using are kind of like detail or just fine scissors. I found them at like the beauty section, like those kinds of scissors. Because for the star, since we're gonna be cutting it, we need something like pointy and fine to read those edges. Then I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. I honestly love to use this one for uh, earrings and accessories. It's pretty easy to work with. It just dries by itself so you don't have to bake anything but feel free to work with polymer clay as well. It works the same. So I'm just going to be rolling some clay using my roller that has those two green rings on each side just so that I can have like the same thickness all throughout my clay and I'm working over a silicone mat for this by the way and later on I'm going to be making a review just share which one I'm using for this. I'm going to be using a baking decorating tool. It's my Wilton 1M and using it as a cookie cutter pretty much going to be cutting two circles and then using this smaller one to do the same thing but like smaller circles. And then my bigger circles, I'm going to be turning them into crescent moons. I'm using the same, I was going to say cookie cutter is my piping tip. Using the same thing and just cutting that twice. Because my clay hardens with air, I'm just going to be arranging as I want these two moons to dry. If you are working polymer clay, you don't have to worry about that now. So these two earrings are going to be sisters but not twins, which means one is going to have like one design and the other one another one, but pretty much like the same concept. I'm just going to be figuring out for one where I want the star to be hanging and then from the other one I'm just going to be placing these pins just to make a hole so I can turn them into earrings and then placing my pin on the other one. If you're working with polymer clay, I suggest you to either make the holes and then just bake them or just place your pins without the plastic thingies and then just bake them with them there. It's pretty much up to you. And then for my tiny circles that I cut it, remember, I'm gonna be cutting the stars, placing my star stencil and just tracing the shape with the finest tip of my Sharpie. By this point, my clay is getting dry, but it's not fully dry yet. Then I'm gonna be cutting my star as I did before and then place a pin so I can hang this. If you're working with a polymer clay, the same that before, either make the hole or just place standard pins and then just bake them. For my one moon that is going to have like the star hanging there, I'm going to be placing my other pin. And so now I have two moons, one with two pins, the other with one pin and then start with one pin. And I'm going to wait for this to dry. If you're working with polymer clay, this is when you bake it. I'm going to be taking some eye pins. The ones that I'm using are these ones. I just cut them in half and just make another eye pin. And I do have the DIY showing you pretty easy how to make an eye pin yourself. So I'm going to be cutting the wire on my eye pins really, really tiny just so that I can place them on my tiny spaces on my moons. I'm going to remove my pins and I'm going to be gluing this eye pins with my super glue. So for my moons, all my eye pins are facing me. In my star, my eye pin is not facing me. And this is going to be making more sense once we're done. For my other moon, I'm going to be gluing my star on top. I'm going to be painting this with this gold acrylic paint and this tiny brush, giving them a couple of coats until they were covered and pigmented. Then I'm going to be taking this ear wires. I got them at Hobby Lobby using my pliers and actually something happened with my earring that had the star on top of the moon that I had to do it again and this is why this moon is facing that direction but it's pretty much the same thing but yeah, as you can see I just open all the loops on eye pins place the other eye pins and then just close them with my pliers but yeah guys these are the earrings that I want to share with you I honestly love them the reason I made them differently I couldn't decide which way to go but I'm glad I made them this way because I love them like this like different I think they look so much more interesting and fun like this but it's pretty much personal preference they are pretty lightweight pretty easy to make so much fun to make and wear they go with everything you can dress them up or down pretty much go with any outfit i'm making them towards halloween but i'm definitely going to be wearing them all year round and hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below check out more accessories that have my channel subscribe for more and share them thanks so much for watching i'll take you later and take care happy halloween guys bye